so here aim of this experiment is to determine the dielectric constant of a given bakelite and glass materials you can see we are using these two dielectric materials bakelite uh, and glass so we have different uh, thicknesses of bakelite and glass plates so we are using three uh, different thicknesses of these two materials so as i uh, mentioned uh, the apparatus required are dielectric constant apparatus test capacitor variable capacitor patch pots glass material and backlight material so this is the formula to calculate dielectric constant that is denoted by k is equal to 1 plus c1 minus c2 divided by c0 so c0 is uh, capacity of capacitor without dielectric c1 uh, of variable air capacitor c2 variable air capacitor for maximum deflection where test capacitor is filled with dielectric and c1 is without dielectric so theory just you can read about dielectric material and what is uh, dialectric material is nothing but uh, acts like insulator so what is dielectric constant a quantity measuring the ability of a substance to show down electrical energy in an electric field okay so i will explain the procedure how to do take the readings so this is the diagram for uh, uh, so for dielectric material kept between two capacitors and this is the circuit diagram as we have seen in the uh, apparatus so i will explain you so i will show you how to take the readings uh, for different thicknesses of dielectric material bakelite and glass plate so you can see here the you can choose any one of the uh, dielectric material or material and uh, you can start taking reading so first what you are, should do you should measure the thickness of these dielectric material using a screw gauge so after measuring you can go for taking the readings okay the thickness of these have been measured using screw gauge and mentioned here 3 mm 4 mm 6 mm and glass also having the thickness of uh, 3 4 and 5 okay after measuring the thickness so here what you have to do before taking reading sensitivity you must keep this at 1 then you have to insert a bakelite in between uh, these two capacitors and there should not be air gap okay so then you should just vary this variable capacitance capacitor slowly and observe the uh, sensitivity at certain value of capacitance the sensitivity will sh show sudden deflection okay so once again i will show you slowly increase it so you can see it is around nearly 50 you are getting a sudden deflection in the sensitivity earlier it was 1 so here you can note down the value of capacitance it is nearly 50 okay so for this is the thickness of 4 mm so they got uh, 59 so how much you will get you should note down the reading so similarly you have to repeat the same procedure for different thicknesses uh, this is with dielectric material reading so in this column you have to write the value then without what you should do just bring this uh, variable capacitance to normal uh, value of 10 then you can see again sensitivity has reached to 1 then i will remove this uh, dielectric material okay so there uh, should be gap okay 
then you should slowly increase uh, this variable capacitance and see the sensitivity without capacitor uh, the deflection you should note down so you can see it is uh, more than uh, around nearly 100 maximum value of capacitance uh, you will observe the sudden deflection in the sensitivity so just you can note down it is around 100 okay you can just write 100 with without capacitor uh, without dielectric material capacitance is 100 with dielectric you got 50 so like that you should take the reading so here uh, the capacitor of the test capacitor uh, here this test capacitor is taken as uh, 8 picofarad that is uh, constant c0 value so here is the tabular column we already um, know how to measure the thickness using screw gauge so for bakelite and glass plate measure the thickness then go for taking reading i have already shown you how to take the reading so you have to repeat uh, the same procedure for uh, the glass plates as well then uh, with capacitor readings uh, will be uh, smaller and uh, without capacitor you will have the high value of capacitance then there is a formal formula to calculate dielectric constant using these two values um, here you can see they have calculated for 3 mm for bakelite as well as um, glass plate so how much value of dielectric constant you will get you have to write down in this column after that calculating all the three values you should take the average for both glass plate as well as uh, bakelite separately then you will have the final value for dielectric constant uh, of bakelite and glass using this resonance method so kb is about 6.12 and kg is dielectric constant for glass is 6.7 so this is how you can do this experiment on dielectric constant